Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video showing you what to do if your static exciter is not working on your generator. This is an MEP005A, uh, it's a 30 kilowatt generator, uh, produces three phase power. So yeah, basically my static exciter doesn't work and I'm going to show you a way to get around it. So yeah, if we just look at this. Um, Actually, we'll go over here. I have it all wired up in here. Check this out. This is the signal stat or the relay that is supposed to actually give just a little bit of energy to the inside of the generator to give it some magnetism. So when it starts spinning, it can just increase from there and give out the power we need. This is the diagram that I used. I wired it all up. I have my switch over here and you turn this switch on and it actually self it has a timer on it where it'll only turn on between three to eight seconds so you don't really have to worry about leaving it on but that's been about enough time this is what happens if I try to start it like that So, you see that the voltage didn't increase to 200 because that's what I actually have it, I have it set at. Well, it should, I don't think, I'm not sure if that's completely right, but whatever, getting on to it. Um, so my static exciter doesn't work, so this is what you do if you want your generator to start producing power and you don't want to spend mo any more money on another static exciter. This right here is a corded drill. You cannot use a brushless drill. It has to have the, the copper brushes in there. So when I turn this, when I have the generator going, I'm going to hold this down. It's in the forward position, so it's going to spin right if it has power. So basically I'm going to hold this down, I'm going to spin it left, or the reverse direction, and then you'll see this jump up. So let's go ahead and do that. That's just a quick way to show you how to use a corded drill that has the copper brushes spin in reverse to use it as your own static exciter. And just a thank you to everyone who's helped me and posted random videos of stuff that I need so I'm able to actually do the projects I need on a budget. So thanks everybody.